portrait of singer, actress and model Grace Jones. Due to Grace's bone structure, I added a lot more detail to my initial sketch. Instead of only adding the head shape and placing the features, I also added the rough placement of both the highlights and the shadows. I quickly realised that I was working too small, so I enlarged my sketch and repainted the dark areas. I'm redoing this part of the image because I'm using a textured brush, and when I enlarged the layer, all of these textures got blurred. This is something which is quite important to remember when working in programs like Procreate, as you can only enlarge things so far before details are lost. If you want to work with imagery where scaling doesn't create any blurring or loss of details, I would suggest working in vector. There is currently no vector options in Procreate to my knowledge, but there are plenty of other vector-based programs on the market. This image uses the same colour palette as the Star Wars and Nina Simone portraits I did earlier this year. But like with Nina's portrait, I removed the light yellow colour and I've added a rich red colour that is used for the lips. The reference image for this painting is a promotional image for James Bond of You To A Kill. What drew me to this reference was the lighting, with a cool light on one side and the warm light on the other. As some of the highlights hit the sides of Grace's face, it can be tempting to paint a light outline to show where her face ends. However, I chose to only hint to this through unfinished lines, as our minds automatically complete the shape for us. Thank you so much for watching. For similar videos, check out my YouTube channel and for more of my art, visit my social media accounts.